That is ridiculous. You know what? Actually, I disagree, Sam. I think you know what? what? You're what? I'm gonna tell you. I was a law student during post Katrina. I lived in an apartment with no fridge, no stove, and no shower head. So you thug it out. But no, no, wait, 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 wait. Katrina was a natural disaster. I this <laughs> isn't. Well, but That's you're so journalists, real, right? right? Yeah. You're not going on vacation. You're journalists. Do your job. Except for this uh, tweet, actually did make me change my mind. Oh. This is what? from Pardon My Take. Olympic Update reporter in Rio turns on shower in hotel, gets nothing but bloody water oh. discharge. Now I draw, I draw the line there, Sam. See, that's not that ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Olympics. Don't deserve this. Okay, yeah. again, this is the Olympics. This is a lifetime experience. It is sad that the village for the athletes is literally unlivable. To go here by the tweet by Sam Walker. Argentina becomes the latest Olympic national delegation to abandon their housing in Rio because of the complaints of the abysmal living conditions that they're going yeah, through. Big mm -hmm. spike for Airbnb right now. Mm. Yeah. I don't even think that exists down There's in Rio. There's nothing new about this. We did the same thing in Russia two years ago with the whole Sochi problems. Remember this? The toilets that are right next to each other and everyone complaining <laughs> about the bad. living the living conditions. <laughs> These are still blossoming countries. They're not, nothing's America, guys. Are you sure that's not just for the two-person bobsled? I'm sorry, Tehran. These are. It's not about blossoming country. They had over seven years to Thank prepare you. and over a billion dollars sure. in to years, invest in this. They weren't going to fix their country they in seven years. They said they would. Olympics is supposed to help. We can't have it every year well, in Los Angeles. I'm sorry. Okay. This yeah, is what well, the rest well, of the world is, lives like. This that's is a good point. But it, that's not fair, Tehran. In fact, a lot of people are tweeting in, and a lot of people internationally are saying that because of what happened in Brazil, in Rio, that now cities in other developing countries, they're not going to be able to house future Olympics because they were in the running, but now the IOC does not want to take that risk because of what happened in Brazil. And that's the burden with being first, right? When you're the first kind of developing country to set the stage, now the expectation is so low that it is going to impede those other opportunities from but other you countries. Guys, to go off of the Rio Olympics, actually, the Rio Olympics officials admitted on Tuesday that the rush to finish the housing required for nearly 18,000 athletes and support staff they delivered is unready. Like, they went on record and admitted that they were nowhere near Yeah, but that's ready. after uh, not quite apologizing to the Australian right. delegation by saying, maybe if I put a kangaroo there, it'll be okay. That's the mayor. Mm. That's the mayor mm. saying that. But at the end of the day, there are still some Olympians who are having the time of their lives, like Louis Smith. He, this guy, he's a gymnast from Great Britain, and he says, this Olympic village is beautiful. I've been lucky enough to make three Olympics, and this already stands out. Is that Photoshop, out. Brett? Did we get, did, did we find I, out? I, I didn't do that research, <laughs> but it seems like it's Can really awesome. Can we authenticate this picture, please? <laughs>